Jo Yoon An Chim. I have not. Those are not curse words. That is good morning in Korean, right? And uh, for me, Korea has been synonymous with three things. One is your Samsung. Uh, the other is BTS, and obviously the third one is ramen, right? So their ramen is world famous. And today we are here in Kalyanagar in Koriyaki to try some different varieties of uh, Korean food. So. Um, We have a corn dog half and half, which is supposed to be famous. Eva is uh, dog allowed, and dog. Uh... Dogs allowed, not, not allowed. <laughs> okay, uh, and then we are having uh, bubble tea towards later part. Uh, we did order uh, the ramen, ramen as I said, uh, and then we did order their uh, Korean fried chicken. Uh, bow, bow, bow is ordered. Bow bun. Yes. Uh, we did order bow as well. So uh, let's wait for the food to come and uh, let's explore it together. Basically, um, you know, when you're trying a design that you're not very much, uh, uh, you know, aware of, so that way they made the menu very simple. It's only five buckets. So there are a lot of sides. They call it K sides. Then there are buns, bao buns, and then you have the fried chicken, and then rice or ramen. So again, each of this has a, uh, you know. Kind of customization to it. You can have it in veg, chicken, seafood. Like we order ramen, so even within the egg, you have a customization. You can have a boiled egg or half boiled or a fried egg, right? And then there is a lot of uh, variety of bubble tea, which maybe we'll have it towards the later part after we try the other dishes. So I'm really excited. Uh, I'm hungry as well. This is almost uh, three in the afternoon. So let's wait and uh, see what uh, Koriyaki has to offer us. So what I'm having is uh, chicken uh, ramen, and uh, what you see is the fried egg. Uh, I can see a lot of uh, beetroot, carrot, uh, and this is a spring onion. So uh, let's get started. Oh, it's, this is hot, so I better be cautious. Mm hmm. Huh? I know that there's a gap when I'm trying to speak, but yeah, you could sense that burst of spices. I don't know if this is Indianized, uh, but yeah, I mean we do have an option to customize on the spice level as well. Uh, so let me actually try the soup as well. Amazing. I mean, I don't have a lot of words to describe it, but yeah, I really, really. You want to try? It's hot, okay? Sometimes you can try this. So uh, what we are having now here is uh, probably one of their most uh, sold dishes. 
So this is uh, Korean fried chicken. Uh, again, uh, because we are with kids, uh, they did uh, make a little less spicier version also. But let me go ahead and uh, try this. A lot of barbecue sauces, you know, tastes more like our uh, Chinese chicken dishes, right? And then, I believe this is a variant of mustard sauce. But yeah, I love this. Maybe, for me, this would be on the top of the list. <laughs> So uh, what you're seeing here is uh, the corn dog, half and half. So this is something that I'm having for the very first time. So I see a lot of cheese in there. Not a big fan of cheese. Uh, so let me add it with little sauce so that uh, the cheese flavor becomes a little sober. I don't know if this is the right way of having it. But yeah. So the crust is very you know, crispy. Uh, I don't know what kind of bread they make this with. And then you do see a lot of uh, um, you know, sauces. And then there is uh, French fries that are actually uh, you know embedded into it. I would say. Um, yeah. I mean, I, this is a new thing for me. Yeah. Now I get to see the chicken in this. Right. I didn't have a bite of that. But if you can see. So, yeah, that's how it is. Okay, uh, what you're having is uh, Koreaki chicken uh, bao. I think bao is more like bun. I've had them before. I've had the ones which are closed and have a stuffing inside. Now, but this is more like a stuffing where you can see looks like a tortilla to me uh, but yeah so it's very soft as you can see and then uh, chicken stuffing in there so this is called uh, teriyaki uh, mm. the bun is very soft so the sauces actually seep into it and then it gives you more like a, a roll kind of a feeling but yeah lot lot softer and then obviously the chicken adds to the flavor mm. I'm making my hands lot dirty with the Korean food but yeah I like this. This is more like a filler to you. Not a big fan of noodles there. But this is good. Who says you cannot have it with chopsticks? Mm. So that was the best I could have. Obviously, I'll be having a spoon. But here it's the uh, same fried chicken that we had previously. But the dish is actually 
kimchi fried rice and as you know kimchi is the fermented uh, um, more like our uh, pickle to that part of the uh, asia pacific world and then there is a lot of spring onions i think this is the kimchi in here It's supposed to be probiotic actually try the kimchi with some rice and uh, fried onion and the <coughs> spring potatoes sorry spring onion mm so what kimchi before has a little sour taste to this but it's good i mean the rice also is different not a regular rice i don't know what this is it's more like the sambar rice the small one This is good. I mean, for somebody who's a rice lover like me, he would love this dish. Yeah, even the presentation is really good. And then, yeah, I did try to have it with the uh, chopstick as well. So uh, what we are having now is uh, the famous uh, bubble teas. A uh, lot of flavors in here. Uh, you know, you had the, the. This is the Thai milk tea, the you know original OG. But you do have uh, taro, you have strawberry, you have watermelon. Yeah, that is the boba in it, right? So what you see is the boba in there, and uh, we also got a chance to see how the actual boba looks like, right? So if you see here. so this needs to be uh, boiled in water then that becomes a uh, boba right so uh, let me try their uh, high milk yeah not very sweet and mild and then uh, yes yes have it so uh, i did see the making which will be showcased in the video they, they don't actually you know uh shake it up or anything so there are two to three kind of mixtures um when i say shake it up it's just to shake it up it's not uh, usage of uh, uh, you know mixer or anything like that right so yeah mm. let me try the other one as well para change that i believe this would be the sweeter one this is called the taro bubble tea it looks like a blueberry hmm this is sweeter i don't know somehow i feel it rather lotus biscuit of kind of a flavor to this but yeah and then uh, i just wanted to show you their uh, small menu as well so uh, very artistically made you can see the this thing and then now uh, as i said again just five buckets simpler to choose uh, not a lot of confusion so yeah cheers um hello everyone uh, we have uh, taha with us uh, thank you so much for uh, speaking into the channel uh, taha owns and manages the place koryaki so uh, first question uh, about 6 months in bangalore uh, thai food is something that we have been hearing uh, way back in chennai there are a lot of malaysian cuisine uh, but korean for me it's new uh, what was your motivation behind it or what was your gut feeling ki people will accept uh, korean uh, food as such right so uh, 
yeah that would be my first question and let me help up myself with this mic go ahead um, well korean food is always been my favorite um i am a huge uh, k pop lover and the style the fashion of korea so korean food i've been in the food industry for last 7 8 years in in asian food specifically in chinese and malaysian thai food uh korean was something i wanted to explore and i thought with the korean wave right now is the best time to explore so i took the plunge and i started this i uh, i have not been to korea though but i've been to other places like japan and thailand and uh, indonesia malaysia but uh, korea is something that i have is on my list and i'll go there very soon but uh, just a bite of korea i'm bringing to bangalore for now let's see i ask you what is the one thing that you would uh, you are my, top of the list here my favorite is the ramen bowls of course uh, i like the hot and spicy ramen it's uh, my favorite and the best seller here and something that i personally also recommend to my customers who come for the first time to try something authentic korean so yeah that's something it and of course the thai milk bubble tea that you had that's my favorite too actually thank you so much so we we absolutely love the hospitality we love the food so please do come and try the food here thank you so much for speaking to the channel thank, thank you, you.